Texans are no stranger to bumpy roads, but many expect cities, counties, and the state to complete those repairs. But for many West Odessa roads, those entities don't have the right or a requirement to fix private roads, so it leaves the maintenance up to homeowners. CBS 7's Hannah Brock is on the story of uh, one West Texas man who is taking repairs into his own hands, but also asking for help. Hannah? His hands and his pocketbook. Alex Rodriguez has spent his own money to fix the road and he's asking his neighbors and county officials to donate and help. On McCabe Avenue, a squeaky trailer sings its bumpy road song. Traversing McCabe is a game of zigzag with exposed rocks and holes up to a foot deep. I mean, my goal is to get these roads back into a better condition than it is back into the condition they were at when we first bought here. Rodriguez worries that in an emergency, an ambulance or fire truck would be slowed down. He has spent the last five years contacting the man he believes is responsible for the road with no success. Once I started having to maintain my vehicles more often, the money that started coming out of pocket, um, I decided to take action and start to develop a, a committee around here, a nonprofit to get donations to have this road fixed. That's also so his neighbors can get tax write-offs. He also asked the county to step in with no luck. Private roads are not a county responsibility. Commissioner Gardner says that's why the commission established new requirements for developers about a year ago. Uh, now then, when it's developed, it has to be paved, whether it's a private road or, it's, or they turn it over to the county. The roads have to be paved in any, any new developments now. But it's not retroactive, so for others in this situation, the solution is unclear. Gardner says it would take millions to fix the private roads, and deciding where to start would be another feat. So Rodriguez is calling out for help. The reason I did uh, reach out to the news as well is to assure these neighbors that, you know, their money is going to be used towards the road and nothing else, not, not to benefit anything else besides the road. Commissioner Gardner says the county may look into grants for this situation, but where those millions of dollars will come from is unclear. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Hannah Brock.